Yeah, my name is Matthew Fowler. I'm a photographer. I've been into photography since I was a child, really. But I got into it just because my, my dad would, would stop on the side of the roads on road trips and take pictures of old barns so he could paint. So growing up, I just remember him taking out that old silver and black film camera. So when I was about 12 years old, I got my, my own film camera. Kind of taught myself just through trial and error, practicing and, and just loving the art form of it. My dad got me a job at a wedding and senior photography company out in Muskegon. I started shooting seniors before I even was a senior in high school. It's kind of intimidating. And that really got me realizing that I could make money off of it. I started my photography company in 2006 with an official name and a LLC. I grew up wanting to be an animal photographer, so I love shooting animals. And recently I traded a lady. She wanted me to shoot her family portraits. She decided last minute that she would rather me shoot her husband's zoo he's starting. So I took that opportunity, definitely. And I got to go shoot alligators and ocelots and monkeys. That was one of my favorite opportunities for, for photography. But I like to also shoot nature. And I recently went on a trip to Africa was able to take lots of pictures of the kids there that I was staying with and lots of pictures of the mountains there. South Africa is where I was and it's an absolutely gorgeous country. But there's mountains surrounding the, the, the village that I was in. You can see the Drakensberg Mountains, almost completely 360. I like being able to capture a moment, though impossible to capture the fullness of the moment. I still like being able to take a little piece of it with me, but I don't shoot in the traditional sense. I don't do as many straight on, camera straight shots. I try to get as many artistic angles. I like to think a little bit outside the box, which is actually becoming more more prevalent in photography now. But I have a, a unique style with my photography. And I shoot with film, so it gets a, a unique look to it that most digital photographers don't, aren't able to capture with it, unless they edit it. Yeah, my style of photography is it's definitely captured by the film that I use. I try to get old film from garage sales so it gets that brown or different weird colors and uh, some of the cameras I have let light leaks into them. It's a vintage photography style. This is a Polaroid camera, just for fun ones. Sometimes I like to take, when I'm shooting weddings, I like to take a picture of the bride and groom walking down the aisle. Click, just take it right when they're like leaving. And then at the reception or something, I slip it in as a gift for them so they can take that on their honeymoon. It's just like an instant picture. This is a Diana. It's a 120 film. It's a medium format. So is the Mamiya C220. It's one of my favorite cameras, actually. It takes absolutely beautiful pictures. This is my, my trusty Pentax. You can't take a bad picture on that thing. I love this one. I, I shoot a lot with this one. And this is a, a, a Yashica. It's an old camera that never takes the picture you want it to take. <laughs> it is very unreliable, but that, those sometimes mistake pictures are my favorite pictures. It's an outlet for me to express my artistic desires. Being able to express my creativity is important to me, so I do that through photography.